1993. So Great Britain just ease off the start in lane and number five in this final of the men's heavyweight double skulls with France in one, Estonia in two. New Zealand are the world champions. They're in the black strip and the yellow tops. There they are indicating they are current World Cup leaders. Look at the aggression that they put at the end of the blade there. The speed of the boat, though, is not quick enough to match in the first 100. Germany, who are in lane at number four. Outside them, Great Britain's Matthew Wells, Marcus Bateman in five, and Slovenia, Spick and Chop, are in lane number six. There's a little bit of a difference in the way that the double are moving. Uh, there's, uh, with Matt Wells just a little bit slower in the pickup at the front end of the stroke. Yeah, just take a look there. He's pushing his legs and Marcus Bateman is opening his back that bit faster. So you've got a slight discrepancy in the body movement, but not in the blades going into the water. So it's just slightly applying the power slightly differently. British crew into the race now, but being led by Germany. Look at the Germans, how they just heave it through the second part of the stroke all the body weight behind it and the hands then just thrown away and they're back onto the next stroke. So as they now start to settle out, interestingly, New Zealand, the world champions, first at Munich three weeks ago, just been really dropped off the back here. So the black strip now suffering from the uh, early pace of this level that we're at here, really can't afford any kind of clear water behind. Early race leaders, Germany right from the start, continue to lead through the 500 meter mark, Great Britain in second position and new zealand the world champions back in fifth 500 down 1500 to go in this final of the men's double skull and the british now really have to attack again this second 500. there's matt wells in the bow seat just looking quickly across to see where germany is but uh, nice to have the world champion sitting uh, that little bit further back off their stern but my goodness the germans have really gone out fast and uh, they were the fastest, uh, they were quick qualifiers, and timing not so good in the German boat. You just see that there's a little bit of discrepancy in the way that the blades are going into the water. But Great Britain now under pressure from the top of the picture, Estonia and France. France are the world silver medalists from Karapiro last year, the world championships held in New Zealand. Well, just looking there at Germany, it doesn't look pretty, but at the moment it's pretty quick. Now, the question really is, is that sustainable? So you've got to feel that Great Britain now you know, have got somewhere to step onto when we get towards the middle part of this race. They have sometimes been a bit slow taking off the start. They've been dropped and then had a lot to do to make up. Uh, they've re readjusted their race plan. They've moved, they've moved well in the first 1,000 metres. But you can see how hard Germany is working. Look at that second part of the stroke as they really push hard in that second part to send the boat moving that little bit faster off the finish well it is incredible to see the technique isn't great but the speed is there germany now leading by almost a length over a chasing field that includes great britain into just into second place and at the top of your picture france in lane number one so the race is still on here for the gold medal in terms of germany great britain and france but the Germans continue just to go away, stroke by stroke, they're easing out. I'm very surprised that the uh, British crew haven't just launched a big attack now, looking forward again, thinking forward, because here comes the black strip. Well, in the first 500, New Zealand, the world champions, had a complete shocker. They seem now to be working it back as we now watch New Zealand, Marcus Bateman there stroking this crew. Both New Zealand, you can see New Zealand just creeping up. They're moving back now on France, uh, who were moving very sweetly up at the top of the picture there. But now, New Zealand coming up level, France and New Zealand beginning to move up alongside and through Great Britain. Great Britain gonna have to make a move. They've got to react to all of this. Uh, Germany seemed to be well clear, moving well, but now here comes New Zealand. Well, New Zealand are absolutely flying They've just really clawed their way back from, they were fifth going through the 500 meter mark, and they have had to grind out, and grinding they are, this middle thousand. They were dumped on the first quarter mark here now, but they are world champions, and they were first at Hamburg three weeks ago, the middle World Cup regatta here, and these guys look like they're just, you know, they're screaming along here. Absolutely, they're up at 37 strokes a minute. That's really, really high, high for in, a, in a double skull, and they're eating away back now on the German double. Germany went out very hard, so they're going to pay for this in the last 500. 
500 to go. Look at the line now across. That's a wrong caption on the left-hand side. Germany lead. There are three boats now hunting them down. And New Zealand leading from Great Britain and France. That's the chasing pack. Germany out looking at this. And New Zealand continue to throw absolutely everything at Great Britain, everything at Germany. And oh God, you've got to think they could just get an overlap with the Germans here. The British were looking at them, Wells and Bateman. Both of these guys from Leander Club, coached by Mark Earnshaw, world silver medalist, being overhauled by the world champions, New Zealand. And New Zealand have now got the bit between their teeth again. They can smell the Germans rolling over. And Great Britain have to go now with Germany, with uh, New Zealand. Great Britain up at 39 strokes a minute. That really is high, but New Zealand even higher. And New Zealand screaming back, screaming back on Germany. Germany beginning to fade. They went out so hard, they worked so hard. But this has been a sustained attack from New Zealand from before halfway. And look how they've come through. That is an extraordinary piece. They're up at 42 strokes a minute, uh, New Zealand, and they've gone right through. Well, that's an absolutely incredible performance here from the world champions, New Zealand, as they now get their bows ahead of Germany, who were the early race leaders. New Zealand were dumped in the first 500 meters, and they have shown such class and style, and they've shown them why they are the world champions. They're in first place. They have recovered to win the gold medal. Hats off to New Zealand, the world champions. Germany get the silver, and Great Britain will get the bronze medal today. But if there is one race and one performance in terms of guts from start to finish, that's your crew. That was an extraordinary sprint. Unbelievable. I mean, they, 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 you know who, who they, they sprinted me? from the 500 metre gone, Mark. They, they reminded me of your Cox pair in 1992 when you had those Searle boys going and they started sprinting at about 750 metres and you just sprinted right the way through the reigning world champions of Italy to take the, to take the gold medal. Oh.